Phones down, please. Thank you. Phones down. Thank you. First frame, Judge Trump to break. Six. Trump nine. One. Eight.
Nein. Thank you, Judd. Fifteen. Sixteen. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. Forty-three. Forty nine. <coughs> Judge Trump, forty nine.
幻。Seventeen. Twenty-four. Thirty-nine. 59. Sets them up for frame two of a possible seven. Yes, Murphy is not a player who lacks for confidence, we know that, so he'll be looking to get stuck in. It's a, it's a bit of a, a battle of the, the ball polishers, or not ball polishers. They've both been given their views on Twitter. Murphy said, because he was all for it, of course, he said it's been a great success. And Trump said they should never do it again. So, <laughs> so maybe the winner gets to decide for the next tournament. There's the trophy they're playing for. Second frame, Sean Murphy to break. <coughs> Gibraltar Open final, Sean Murphy trailing 1-0, didn't pot a ball in the first frame. Short match, remember, just best of seven. Very ambitious shot 
He attempted that, Jeff Trump. Can they see the red? Doesn't look like it from there. He's been a, li a little fortunate there, Judge Trump. If Murphy can't pot this red. Twice across the table. Try and land up into the reds. Foul. Enemies. Judge Trump, six. No problem, second time around. Got to be careful here not to leave the red in the right corner pocket. Using the green to try and hide it. Head-to-head -head is interesting between these two. 7-3 to Trump, so quite significant. The last meeting, you may well remember, those of you who watch a lot of snooker here on Eurosport, International Championship, last uh, November time. And Trump won 6-5 in the quarterfinals on the last black. It was an absolute thriller. But 7-3 overall, including a quarterfinal at the Crucible. Murphy actually beat him on his debut at the Crucible when Judd was just 17, 10 years ago. But he's matured so much as a all-round match player since then. Well, he could have come off the side cushion and landed up into the pack of reds. But caught the safety too thick, but the cue ball has landed nicely in front of the yellow. So Trump's got the same kind of shot coming off the side cushion. Land up into the reds. Foul. Enemies. Sean Murphy, four. Now, because the red, uh, the cue ball's not in amongst the reds. Murphy just replacing it. Has to hit it this time. Otherwise, he may be warned. Because he can see a red full ball. Well, <coughs> cue ball badly hampered over the yellow. So he doesn't want to miss cue here. Are you happy with this, Jack? Are you happy with it? Well, that's a relative term, I would suggest. What she means is, is it back in the right place? Because she's about to warn him when the cue ball is to everyone's satisfaction. Sean, sorry, I have to warn you. If you miss this time, you'll lose the frame. There it is.
That's an excellent shot. And I think he can just about get the black. That was a good shot to play because he was leaving that red next to the black and he missed it. I thought he was going to play into the pack a little Eight. bit harder than that. Catching ball. Black only just went in. Ah. Well, we'll see how long uh, that visit lasts. Sean Murphy, eight. <laughs> Very cool, just uh, as the cue ball passes by. Well, that's the end of that. For now, anyway. There's a few who would have put it to sleep there. <laughs> well, Murphy will be disappointed not to have kept going there. Um, goes off. Can I have the mobile phone or on silence, please, or switch off? Thank you. Well, at least answer it. Great shot, but the kiss wasn't favourable really, could so easily have finished nicely on the black with a thicker kiss. The black is potable, but very difficult to get to the next red if it does go in. The swan neck he's using here. Good pot. Phone's going off again. <laughs> Peggy Lee's going to have him. Yeah, she may be less kind to the person with so the phone than she was to the fly. The phone on the silence, please. Yeah, well, <laughs> they got to go, haven't they? I mean, they're not going to turn it off. Eight. Where's Big Frank, the security, head of security? Eight. Well, that was a brave shot to take on at that angle because he was leaving reds on. That was a tough shot to the middle, and especially the way he played it by stunning it in. So, easy starter for Trump. Try and get top side of the blue and go into the reds. One. Not quite the angle to go into the reds, but he can play for the loose one. No choice whether to play for the black to go into the reds from. Six. Or screw back for the blue. Using the blue. So I'll try and hit the pink full in the face. And he did that. 
It doesn't look as though False. he's been fortunate. Caught the pink fault. Well, there is a red. That will go. It was a thin cut. And that, again, is unfortunate. He played it with a lot of right-hand side to try and avoid that. Right in the middle. These two are very attacking players, and if there's anything to go for, they'll go for it. <coughs> Needs a bit of luck. Tough pot to the corner, but chance of potting this and staying on the blue. Doesn't look as though it could leave anything but the red he's playing on. One. Yeah, well played. Covered the red by the yellow. With the yellow. I think that's the difference now with Trump. I mentioned the first time he played Murphy when he was a teenager. He would have just gone for a pot and not necessarily have thought about everything else on the table, but he's become a really good thinker now. Good tactician. Still attacking, but considers the other side of it as well. Yeah, he's becoming the all-round player, isn't he? His safety play is excellent. His patience is pretty good. Oh, he's in no man's land there. We have to take Five. the red by the yellow. Well, his other strength is that he's a great potter and he can pot his way out of trouble, but this is awkward. Yeah, very awkward queuing. So, Five. chance for Murphy. Yeah, a bit of a let-off for Sean Murphy, that, and uh, he'll be determined now to get stuck into this match. Didn't pot a ball first frame, a couple of full starts in the second frame, but he's got another opening here. Lives these days in Nottingham, he got married last year, he's become a father as well. This would actually, if he won, would be his first title since becoming a father, so it would be special, I'm sure. This was the. We well can see there how awkward it was queuing for that red. That Trump just missed. Nine. Yeah, again, it wobbled, but it dropped. Nice pace he played it at. High. Nine. He'll be disappointed with that. Okay, he was hampered over the pink, but he still expected Sean Murphy to pot that. One. And under hit that one slightly. He's going to need those 16. two awkward reds near that black cushion. 17. 
and he's got the angle to go into them here if he wants to. A little risky to play it from there. But he's played it. Twenty-two. Well, not ideal on this red. This is a tough one. Played it with some safety in mind. And it's not safe. Yeah, good pot. That was a frame winner or a frame loser. You fancy Murphy now from here. Eight. He takes blacks with the three reds. He just need the yellow. Nine. Seventeen. Just checking the scoreboard because he could play for the blue here. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Left a nice angle on the black. Stand up for the yellow. Could come off the cushion or go directly down the table. Yellow puts him 26 ahead, as you can see with 32. what would be 25 on. Well, they both had uh, quite a few chances 30. in this frame, but it looks like Murphy's levelled up. Just get the feeling that it's going to come alive soon, this match. Two fantastic match players who love the big stage 37 very confident in their games 41 <laughs> So Trump missed that tricky little red to this pocket. Sean Murphy's, Sean Murphy's made 46 to get on the scoreboard in the final. All square then here in the final of the JojoBet.com Gibraltar Open. It's Judd Trump won. Sean Murphy won. Seven, so first to four to win the prize tonight. The 16th world ranking event of the 19 that are on the calendar this season. There's the trophy. Frame. They've each won six ranking titles, although Sean Murphy, I chat with him in uh, Scotland, and he made the point that. They both actually, both these players have won tournaments that at various times have been ranking events, but when they won them, they weren't. Murphy won the Malta Grand Prix when it was an invitation event. Trump won the World Grand Prix when it was an invitation event. Murphy's won various European tour events. He won the Brazil Masters, for those who remember that tournament.
And of course he's won the Masters itself. Ali Pally. Trump's won the Championship League three times. And he's lining up a long red here. It's definitely a strong point. Knocking those long balls in. But more to the point, he gets position off them. Makes those look easy. And he's perfectly on the yellow. Well, he's inch perfect with his position again there. Another couple of inches. He wasn't on anything. Four. I'm sure he would have liked an angle there on the black to have been able to go into the reds and stay on this red just to the right of the black. Didn't quite have the angle to play that shot. Eleven. Twelve. Eighteen. Could have e easily have played for the black there, but wanted to get down for the blue the right side, so it could go into the pack of reds from the blue rather than the black. Again, a very confident shot, man. And this time, they have split nicely for him. 24. Yes, he's never hesitant with that shot. He is the season's 25. leading century break maker, 57, including four in this tournament. So far. Well, doesn't need to go into the reds here because there, there aren't reds that he could play for. And that's what he's done. He's played for the loose one. 30. They all go, taken in sequence. So ne no need to have gone into the reds. 31. When he takes his next red, it releases another red to the left of it. Forty-four. Forty-five. Looks like he's just the wrong side of the black. So I may have to play this with a lot of side on the cue ball. Yeah, just the wrong side. Now look at the white ball. Watch your white ball. Beautiful. Just the 52. right amount of side and pace. 53. 
53. Now, if none of these reds go, it's got the perfect angle to give them a little nudge. Well, looks like the red will go. And that, in turn, will release the red to the middle pocket. 60. Red and the black. Well, this is how he got in, this long red. It just, it's tailor made for Trump, that shot. And red and the black. 61. And Murphy needs a snooker. Sort of shot was tailor made for him as well, but he left that red on. And has had to suffer the consequences. Peggy Lee just uh, asking someone to stay 68. still. And Trump on another red which will stop the playing on for snookers. Yes, and every 69. chance of another century. If he makes one, it'll go level with Marco Fu on 447 for his career. Joint 76. sixth all time. Trump's still only 27, remember. 77. Yeah, it's not going to be six forever. It's going to move right up there. Eighty-four. Highest break, one four five. Jack Lazowski, who Trump beat earlier. Ooh, Jack that's a surprise. So eighty-four, very swift break it was as well. The minute he saw that long red, he knocked it in. He did the rest. Judd Trump back in front here in Gibraltar this evening, leading Sean Murphy 2-1. Weigh that trophy Frame four. here this evening. Sean Murphy to break. A lot of talk about best of sevens, but we've ended up with the world number three against the world number five in the final. I think what you find in any format, the cream will rise to the top. And this is certainly green. Two fantastic attacking players. Pleasure to watch both of them when they're in full flow. And even when they're playing the safety. Sean Murphy shading the safety stats at the moment. But Judd Trump bossing the pot success quite significantly. And at the end of the day, that's the one that counts. Look at the long pot success, David. 71%. And that again, that's not a good safety from Sean Murphy. He knew that, that the red he was playing was going towards that corner pocket and hitting the reds. Still played it. And this time he misses that long pot. Hasn't got away with it either. So chance for Sean Murphy. Well, we saw the pot success down at 76%. Has to keep climbing. 
chance to put something together here. So a couple of tough matches in this tournament. Alan Taylor last night took him to a decider. This is the red, meanwhile, that uh, Judd Trump missed. Yes, Alan Taylor took him to his decider. Barry Hawkins first up this morning, and then Mark Williams, Seven. which was also a decider. Played well against Nigel Bond, though. Had uh, breaks of 137, 140 in that match. Eight. The black, if he takes the black, we'll go down onto the yellow spot. But if he can get to the red next to the pink at some stage, that could give him a frame winning chance. He's just coming to look where 15. he wants to be. If the pink goes as well, that really helps things. Miss that long red. And now he's got to sit and wait. 16. Hope he gets another chance. Well, they've split very nicely. And if that pink does go, it's a frame winning chances. back onto its own spot now so he may play up for the black Not here yet. bring the black back down onto its spot he doesn't need to could play for the pink or blue 29 it's just something he may do well, he's ideal on the blue not close enough to the black Thirty-four. Thirty-five. Take your seats quickly, please. Thank you. Well, a couple of latecomers. For a seat. Key moment this in the match. Murphy trying to get back on level terms, but the way the balls are, if he breaks down, Trump has a chance for 3 1. He's under hit that one slightly. Wanted to be straight on this red, and now having to use the rest, so. Some distance out there with his positional play. 41. And now back in prime position. Very reliable with the rest. Forty seven. Forty eight. So this will be Murphy's first half century of the match. When he sat down, he left the long red sticking out 
and he just had that look on his face as if to say, here we go again, because Trump 53. there made 84 last frame from that scenario, but didn't pot it this time, didn't actually get close to it this time. And Murphy has been able to step in with this break. 54. And that's the level we're at. You know, one good pot, you're in, or one miss like this, and the other guy's in. That's the standard. Yes, and if he'd have potted it, he wouldn't have cannoned into the reds. But because he hit the red thin, 59. he cannoned into the reds. Sixty. So pink and one more red required. Oh. Uh, did that 60. kick a little? I think it did, judging where the cue ball is. And that was very, very unfortunate. Yep, it just kicked. Well, Murphy was saying on Twitter before this final, because of all the ball polishing, He'd hardly had any kicks in the tournament, but that could be an absolutely crucial one to suffer in the final. One. That wasn't easy, though. But now that he's potted it, destiny is in Judd Trump's hands. Seven. This is the kick. Just straightened up a little, the pink. But having said that, Judd Trump didn't get the position he was after. Overscrewed that by a long way. That's a real let off for Sean let Murphy. Off Just needs the red. Yeah, good pop. I said earlier, he's so reliable with the rest. That was a tough red. Could only just see it to pot it. I also think this is where temperament comes in because we've seen some players in this tournament if they'd have got that, the kick that Murphy did on the pink they'd be waving the cue around and kind of being bits in the chair and not mentally ready to come back and pot a red like that which is one in the frame Yeah, he's got a great temperament, Sean Murphy and it's a really good point that to try and keep yourself positive when something bad has happened just in case you get that chance again and that was a really tough red that he took on with the rest he's a great enthusiast for the sport Sean if he's not playing he'll be watching he'll be talking about snooker loves being part of it all and uh, well he's leveled up so we're now effectively a best of three in this final Fifteen. So he could have been punished. He was unlucky with the kick. Could have, on another day, lost the frame there. But Trump lost position early on. Sean Murphy potted a good red. And the final's all square in Gibraltar. Two frames all.
Tetron He's grand champion this evening. This is day 33 of 40 continuous days of snooker on the calendar. The next seven will be the Players' Championship, which starts tomorrow in Clendidno in Wales. And then there's two weeks without anything. The players won't know what to do with themselves. Wow. Brilliant shot. Brilliant shot from Sean Murphy. Perfectly onto the black. Struck it so well. Could play the cannon to the red directly above the black. But doesn't need to because he may push it safe. Yeah, just a little rub. Well, still leaves the red on. Eight. Nine. Sixteen. Seventeen. Had four maximum breaks. Tournament play, Sean Murphy. Sure, we'll see more from him on the maximum side. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Now he might just try and leave himself low on this red, so he can pop the red and open the reds up. See how he plays this. Yeah, that's just about right. Now uh, he could play it with screw or top spin. Thirty two. Thirty three. Well, I thought he would have gone in a little bit harder than that himself too close to the cushion for comfort and it's going to be difficult to get onto the next red now especially if it's straight and it was straight Half chance at the green pocket. Forty. Oh, great shot. Great shot. So six black coming up. Two great shots he's played in this match so far, in this frame so far. Forty eight. Forty nine. And that's just where he wants to be to go into them. How's your luck? Well, it could.
could have been better. 56. There's a red to the green pocket if he wants to think about the maximum. This is tough. No. Trump out here, 56. No. And if the red passes the pink. I don't think it does. But there is another red to the middle. Oh, um, what a shot that was. They're pulling out some great shots, these two. Well, this is going in at an acute angle, at pace, to the middle. Uh, some pot. Well, he let Murphy off in the last frame. That wasn't the best positional shot. Eight. Has the red to the bark corner. Oh, this thin cut hampered over the red. The one to the bark corner. Well, he can get to it. Nine. The three reds below the pink don't go into any of the pockets, so they need some attention at some stage. Fifteen. It could be here. If he can miss the pink, he should send a red towards that right corner. Decided to play for the loose one. Twenty one. Nice angle on the pink, and that's what he played be able to nudge one of these reds out towards that right corner pocket. May stay on the red to the left corner. Right. He's pushed one to the cushion. He's nicely on the red. If it goes... 27. How does it go? It does. Twenty-eight. Another nice little shot he played there, nudging the red 34. off the cushion. Thirty-five. I might be able to screw in behind the red that's closest to the middle pocket. If he can't, he's nudge that red off the cushion. Can play for that one. But this isn't easy. Forty-two. 
43. Well, it was a tough pot, the red. Played it at pace. And that was a tough black. And he's nudged the red towards the middle pocket. Another super shot. 50. This is the red that Sean attempted. He thought it was safe. 51. Trump knocked in a tremendous red to the middle. Yeah, they're bringing the best out in each other now. And there's just no holding back. Some great potting in this break. Blue to level the scores. So he'll need yellow to blue to win the frame. Could have played that one better. 56. Yes, it was missable. 56. But he's got away with it. Scores all level. Yes, could not be closer. 2 2, 56 all. They both had a chance in this frame. Trump missing the yellow. Looked like he'd done the hard work. He potted that tough black, nudged the red towards the middle. That's a good safety from Sean Murphy. I think he's got the snooker. But a chance, Sean Murphy. Two. Not ideal on the green. But he's ideal on the brown. And every chance now. Going one up with two to play. Nine. Yes, this blue and Trump needs a snooker. Murphy just checking that. A real seesaw battle. Fourteen. And for the first time, Sean Murphy's going to be in front. Judd Trump had a chance, he seemed to have done all the hard work, didn't quite get right on the yellow, missed the yellow, eventually Sean Murphy has done enough to go in front, as I say, for the first time in this final, leading Trump now by three frames to two. Two, Murphy needs one, Trump needs the remaining frames. This was the yellow that Trump failed to pot, Murphy put him in uh, a snooker and he left a long yellow out of it. his uh, little reaction to missing it. It's the thing in these short matches, it doesn't take much for, doesn't take many mistakes to uh, be in serious trouble. You know, if this was a two session match, then 3-2, it's uh, no great hassle. But in a best of seven, the pressure's on Trump, as the fans here wait for him to return for frame six, see if he can level up, take the final to a decider. Obviously, it's not a hugely populated place, Gibraltar, but it's nice to see a good little crowd in for the final. Because they've been treated to some good snooker between two world-class talents here. From six, Sean Murphy to break. So for the first time, Sean Murphy's leading. 3-2. If he wins this frame, he is champion.
how do you combat that? Digging down into the cue ball. The cue ball was maybe an inch away from the cushion. Digging down into it. Any side on the cue ball at all, and he swerves it. Cued that so well. And that wasn't easy either. Both these players, as David said, bringing the best out of each other. And it's just coming down to one shot, really. He missed the yellow in the last frame. Cost him. Black must go. Funnily enough, at the Championship League last week, Sean Murphy was he was breaking off of two cushions into the pack rather than the standard shot because he said he's just sick of leaving a red on. Maybe he wishes now he'd done that there. Well, again, that's a nice split as we look at this False. wonderful red he's potted. Terrific shot. It's a nice split, but not ideal on the red. 13. Nicely played. I've got to try and make sure he gets the right side of the blue. And he's left it just short. He's got reds either side of the pink that he can play. But further away from the reds than he would have liked. Twenty-six. He plays that shot so well. <laughs> Stun run through. Coming off the cushion. Not ideal for a left-hander. to the red to try and send the cue ball up towards the blue. Oh, but the red stayed on the lip. How did that stop out? Well, what a difference that makes. It had a think about dropping, didn't it? It looked like it might just dip. I thought it was going to drop. But just stayed out. And Sean Murphy with a great chance here now. Yes, I wonder if Barry Hawkins is watching, because, of course, Barry, against Trump at the Welsh Open, had that wow. yellow to the middle that looked like it was heading in and stayed out and lost. That was in the decider, lost that match. Out of Trump's hands for the minute. Took the risk on going into them. Six. Knew he had that red by the middle pocket. And it's worked out okay. Seven. Fourteen. 
Well, once he takes this red away from the black, it's in black very easy. Well, if he could take blacks with these four reds, he wouldn't need that red on the side cushion. I think he may be able to take one pink. points the lead. So 32, 3, 35, would leave 35 on. So he's just checking the score, but he's going to need that red on the side cushion. Thirty-eight. Coming down for the black to try and make it so that Trump can only tie. Dead easy to have played for the pink there. Yeah, and the thing is, if he pots these three out in the open with blacks, he can then just commit to the red. If he gets on the red, he doesn't have to worry too much about 45. position. He can just commit to the pot. Didn't finish straight enough 46. on the red to get to the black, so well, it's going to be at least 34 points in it with one red left. Same applies though, as long as he gets behind the red and pots it, Trump will need snookers. 52. Tough pot when it is. 53. So 26 points, the lead. Needs a good angle on the black 61. to get to the red, and that's okay. This is the red that stayed on the lip of the pocket, and, well, we all thought it was going to drop, but it stayed there. So, Sean Murphy with this red to take the championship, and he couldn't have played that any better. Now, does he play to just drop it in or pace? Just play to drop it in, giving it every chance. And that will do very nicely. Well, what a difference. If the red had gone in that Trump took on, could well be going into a decider now. But it didn't. And Sean Murphy has stepped in with a superb break. He's had a tough draw. He's had to play Barry Hawkins That's today, six. Mark Williams, now Judd Trump. But Murphy is a player guaranteed to come good at some point in the season. He's been looking for his first title in a year, the World Grand Prix. Twelve months ago was his last 81. ranking title. Just too good not to be winning tournaments. 85. It's another disappointment for Trump, another tournament where he's played well and not ultimately come away with the trophy. Still three events left, though, this season, including, of course, the World Championship. 90. But this is a very classy finish. 96. Uh, come on, let's see the century. Get in there. It's 96. 
but it's the title. Sean Murphy, solid as a rock in Gibraltar. He is our champion. He played really well in the end there, and he's beaten Judd Trump by four frames to two.